Hello and welcome to another Fantasia Builds video and today I thought we would change things up by making a model time lapse. So here we are with me making a Dilophosaurus model which will be used for one of the many rides in the theme park. Notice how I'm making each part of the dinosaur separately. This is for two reasons. One, it allows me to control and animate each of the limbs separately, but also it allows me to have better flexibility of the scale of the dinosaur when I bring it into Minecraft. If I was to model everything in this 3x3 grid, the dinosaur would be very small, and sadly Cubic doesn't allow me to build outside of the grid making it more challenging. However, it allows me to be more creative in how I make the dinosaur and I think it works wonders. Whenever I make a dinosaur model, I try to find a reference image to follow and normally use plots to help me with the shape of the dinosaur for the width. When it comes to special areas like the head, jaws, claws, I normally do this freehand. So if there's any questions, tips, tricks you would like to know, feel free to comment below. I'm just going to sit back, relax, and enjoy a rapsicle ice cream. <laughs> and let you all enjoy the time lapse. Now that the model is complete, I will import it into Minecraft and build a dinosaur, either by placing arm stands manually or in this case I use a plugin to animate it. Now that the dinosaur is complete, it's time to animate it. Can't wait to show this dinosaur in action on the ride. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and until next time, this is Fantasia Builds signing off.